Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is Saturday, January 16, 2021. I got a free pick in the NFL coming up on this report. A couple of quick notes. Eight-star football side goes this weekend in the divisional round playoffs, and uh, we look to make it 4-0 and on the season, which would complete what I like to call the Grand Slam with the eight-star plays. We hit both college football eight-stars. We hit our regular season NFL eight-star. All three won by double digits, and now we got the eight-star going this weekend in the NFL playoffs. Uh, two plays in all, two sides in all, led by that eight-star play. You can check it out and grab it on my homepage at DocSports.com right now. No need to wait. And if you do want to jump on board, check out the 50% off deal. You get a choice of either 50% off one-week package in the NFL or 50% off the rest of the NFL playoffs right through the Super Bowl. It's as simple as that. Uh, when you click on either package, the package of your choice, whether it be weekly or the rest of the season, a little code box is going to pop up, and the code you enter is NFL 50. That's NFL 5-0. Also, college basketball, three plays on Saturday, all available in the same package, of course, and it's led by an early daytime six-star play. Cashed again last night, five-star winner with Wisconsin. Uh, it's been a tremendous college basketball season since day one, and in fact, going all the way back to day one, my plays rated five stars and higher have uh, hit 68% against the spread and have made over $4,500 for those wagering just $100 per unit. Again, six-star daytime release leads the 3-0 college basketball package for Saturday slate. So check that out. I've also got NBA, and it's the return of UFC. They're in Abu Dhabi. It's an afternoon card, and I do have a four-star play in afternoon uh, UFC action. So a lot going on for me on Saturday. The star of the show, of course, is the NFL divisional round with that eight-star play. Let's put it in the win column. A real quick update on the betting report before we jump into the free play. Uh, Packers hosting the Rams, of course, and the Packers mostly laying six and a half, couple of seven still out there. Uh, public, or the number of tickets, is about 57% on Green Bay. Uh, the Sharps, about 56% of the money also on the Green Bay Packers. Of course, there's going to be a lot of teaser money on Green Bay adding up to that. Baltimore and Buffalo, the Saturday evening game, the Bills who are laying two and a half, are getting about 55% of the tickets. However, the money or the sharps on Baltimore to the same tune of about 55%. So just the opposite public on the bills. Ravens uh, are getting the sharp money. And we'll update the Sunday games on Sunday morning's video. But just to let you know, with the Browns and KC, KC laying about 10. Uh, the Browns getting the public action 53%. The sharper money so far this week, all sharp money combined, has the Browns getting about 58% of the money. And then the late game and last game of the weekend, Tampa Bay and New Orleans. Uh, the tickets about 53% on Tampa Bay, the public, and about 57% of the money also on Tampa Bay. We'll update those Sunday games for you with Sunday morning's video. But you heard what we got going. Star of the show this weekend is the eight star in the NFL. A lot going on for me this weekend starting on Saturday. You can go grab again that NFL package as we speak. Let's get to our free play in the NFL. And by the way, you can check out, I've got a college basketball video also posted for Saturday with the free play. Uh, we're going to look at the Saturday night game between the Ravens and the Bills and recommend to play on the over. And I'm going to punch up on my screen here about 16 books and we'll get you exactly where that total is as I speak. Uh, for the most part, 49 and a half. A couple of 49s out there, but it's going to be tough to find. 49 and a half is likely uh, the total, and we do recommend to play, have a free pick on the over between the Ravens and Bills. Originally, they were talking about uh, strong wins, 17, 18 sustained mile per hour wins, gust of up to 30 miles per hour, but the latest forecast is saying that there's going to be a minimal amount of wins in that 10 to 15 mile per hour range for the most part. So listen, you've already got a running game that plays like a passing game when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens anyway. So it's not like they were going to have to throw the football a lot in this game. They should be able to move the ball in decent chunks on the ground against that Buffalo run defense, which has left a lot to be desired all year. Gave up a buck 63 on the ground last week in their uh, wild card game on 5.4 yards per carry. And then, of course, you got Lamar, who can escape any pass rush and uh, call his own number 15 times a game if need be. On the flip side, another quarterback who, who, can call, who can call his own number if they need to in Josh Allen. Also, he can escape any trouble, create more time for his receivers to get open. And I did want to mention this. This has been reported elsewhere. But uh, when you blitz Josh Allen, well, he's thrown 19 touchdown passes when facing a blitz. And Baltimore does like to bring the uh, extra man from time to time. So we think 
think offense is going to be the way to go on this one. And again, right now, the forecast is for wins to be minimal. And again, we're going to recommend a play on the over between Baltimore and Buffalo on Saturday night. Don't forget all those plays I got going in all sports uh, for me on Saturday, led by that eight-star play in the NFL, eight-star side, part of a two-play package in this weekend's NFL divisional round action. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Let's put Saturday in the win column. I'll be right back here late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. We'll talk about Sunday's NFL. Let's put them in the win column, everybody.